Our final international highlight today takes us to Seoul, South Korea. Dr. Sean Park, a prominent prosthetic urologist, and his practice have been awarded as a Center for Excellence for Penile Implants. Let's see how Dr. Park utilizes YouTube to collaborate with esteemed urologists around the globe. Erectile dysfunction could be described as a lonely disease. It's really hard for men to confide their most private issue with others, including their intimate partners. ED affects a patient more so psychologically rather than physically. My first thought was I'm way too young to be having this issue and I had basically a mental breakdown. You can't do all the functions that you're supposed to have and supposed to do as a man. I'm Sean Salmon Park, prosthetic urologist. I'm a director of Stand Up Prosthetic Urology Center of Excellence for Penile Implants. My current career as a prosthetic urologist is largely attributed to Dr. Stephen Carl Wilson, who is a godfather and a living legend in this field. After getting my training in U.S. under the guidance of Dr. Wilson with penile implant surgery, I dedicated my practice to provide best possible care with restoring men's erectile function. The penile implant is a definitely a surgical option for erectile dysfunction treatment. By implanting a hydraulic device completely inside the body, we can restore the patient's erection while preserving one's privacy and other sexual functions. The surgical procedure of IPP placement is typically performed under spinal or local anesthesia with mild sedation. Through a small skin opening in the genital area, the implant is inserted generally within 40 minutes. Patients can usually resume intimacy with their partner around four to six weeks. Reported satisfaction rates ranging from 75 to 98%. Reported infection rate was 0.2%, depending on the study. I had an implant put in after basically complete impotence when I was 21 years old and a revision surgery when I was 23 years old. And my implant started to fail. And I felt devastated, crushed, depressed. Uh, you feel like you're, you're, you're not a man anymore. Basically how I found Dr. Park in the first place was just a quick search. And there was quite a bit of published information about him and how many surgeries he's done. And I was impressed. He was one of the best, if not the best in the world. And I was confident in him doing the surgery. So I was very scared about pain, having the spinal anesthesia and being awake, but I was well taken care of. It's the third day or the fourth day after surgery, I think it was, I had all, no pain. That's not something that I experienced with my original prosthesis or the revision surgery. After the penile implant, there are no changes in sexual functions like sensation, orgasm, or ejaculation. The real difference seems to happen with men's psychology not only about sexual confidence, but also a more positive view toward the life itself. I've been working as an international patient liaison for about five years now with Dr. Park. And during my time with him, I have served and assisted patients regarding ED. Once the surgery is over and fast forward to about a year post-op, you can see the patients a lot more happy. They've regained their confidence and they're generally more grateful towards the people around them. It's definitely life-changing because even for those two, three weeks that my old prosthesis was failing, I went to a dark place. I got depressed. It's, it's devastating. It's crushing. You can't function. It's all you think about at work. It's all you think about when you look at your partner, that I love this person, but I can't please them. I can't be intimate with them. So having this surgery and having everything go so well so far gives me a lot of confidence and it gave me my life back. The largest obstacle is trying to raise more awareness to the existence of penile implant surgery. Before I worked here, I had no idea that such a procedure existed to permanently cure erectile dysfunction. I believe that delivering medical information to the public is one of our key responsibilities as doctors. This is the reason why I started a YouTube interview series named Humanizing a Surgeon with the goal of helping people finding a good doctor. In general, patients are so remiss to talk about sexual health. They have shame or guilt, or anxiety or depression around these topics. So you have to normalize the discussion and you have to normalize the fact that these problems occur in all humans. So a good doctor is one that 
probably listens more than talks, right? To really understand somebody is honest with their patients and does their best to work with them to improve their overall health and uh, empowering patients to, you know, be brave and come out with their problems so they can be addressed. I had a patient um, from uh, the Arabic countries and they said only because of this videos um, we could understand that the surgeon behind is a human. Dr. Park is a pioneer of this educational videos and I think they are really uh, important uh, not only for us as healthcare professionals but also for our patients. If you are struggling or hesitant to speak about ED with anyone, know that you are not alone. There is a wealth of information that you can find online. So do your research. This is your, your life. You know, this is your, your mental health. You're not going to go through life with a half-working penis. And Dr. Park knows what he's doing. I do believe it's essential to rethink our approach to medicine so that we can serve our communities better.